oh, I didn't see you there. I was just finishing up my thematic essay. And done. So the thesis of my thematic essay, Destination Isolation, is Susan Gaspel's play, Trifles, and William Faulkner's short story, A Rose for Emily, both showcase the theme of isolation through prominent characters, Minnie Foster and Emily Grierson. In the play Trifles, Mrs. Wright was isolated by her husband who loved the quietness, you know, he liked the peace and quiet. He was a very reserved man. Before Mrs. Wright was married, she was known as Minnie Foster, someone who liked to dress well and she was lively and she was a singer in the choir. So, they, these people were very opposite, in a way, and once she got married, John Wright, he kind of killed that spirit of hers, just as he killed her bird. She kind of bought this bird to rebel against him, and this bird represented what she used to be, you know, lively and singing and what she wished she could be now, but she's not able to in her marriage. Not only was Minnie Wright isolated mentally, but she was also isolated physically. She lived down in a hollow and was out of view from the road. So not a lot of people were able to visit her and Mrs. Hale wasn't able to visit her because she kind of lived in a isolated area. And she said that the home was kind of like sad and unwelcoming in an unhappy place. So she avoided it altogether. And while she avoided that home, Minnie Foster was kind of trapped and she was just isolated there, unable to be who she really wanted to be. And her spirit was killed just as her bird was killed. And Emily Gerson, in A Rose for Emily, she was isolated by a man as well, by her father. And her father was very overprotective of her. He, you know, scared away any potential suitors for Miss Emily. And he just kept her really reserved and out of the, the townspeople's view. Even after Mr. Grierson died, Miss Emily was still single and there were no more suitors for her. Another way that Miss Emily was isolated was by her social class. She thought very highly of herself because of her father, because they put themselves that way, because she was the last Grierson, that she put her head up high and she thought of herself better than the other folks and she was very distant from the town people. And you could also see this when she finally met a guy she liked and who liked her, Homer Baron, but he was a northerner and he didn't plan to marry. So the townspeople talked about her in a negative light more than they already do, and they disagree with them being together. So because of her social class and them being in different, you know, statuses, Southern versus North, um, they weren't allowed to be together and eventually Homer got scared off by the townspeople and after a year being together, he ran away. Another way that social status was isolating Miss Emily was when she went to go buy poison, she they had to write down the reason of why she was buying the poison, but she didn't have to explain herself. She didn't feel the need to explain herself. And so he just, you know, the guy just wrote down rats, for rats. But obviously we find out later Emily used the poison for Homer. In conclusion, both of these women were affected by isolation. Minnie eventually killed her husband because he killed the small hope she had. You know, her pet, something that represented her, what she used to be and what she wanted, her freedom. And so she ended up killing him. Emily, in a rose for Emily, killed her lover so she could freeze their eternal love. So she could actually keep something that she wanted all this time, you know. And she was kind of crazy because she was sleeping with her dead lover for a long ass time, or sorry, <laughs> for a long time.